what is going on guys thank you for joining me and you are here the end of season one it's a review so it's a chance to have a look back see how the season's gone as a whole see who's performed well and also see where we finished in the league so first off we're going to have a look at the schedule screen um, okay, so, work our way down, as you can see, this is how the season panned out. Um, and as you will see there, it's not a long season, and we start with a defeat, we picked up a fair few wins, a couple of draws, a little patch here, two defeats in three, and then again, another great run, near the end, I mean, as you'll see, lost, won, lost, won, lost, drew, won. So we finished the season with a victory, and onto the league table. That's right, we are champions and we are going up to the third tier of Swedish football. Absolutely delighted. I cannot believe how well that has gone. I'm so delighted that we've managed to get ourselves promotion. So really happy with that. Um, but now let's have a look see how it happened. Onto the squad screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the stat check. Um, okay, so the most appearances... Four players max out on 30 appearances. Berg, Wallström, Uranus and Wilkström. So, congratulations to them. Then Elvis coming in with 28 appearances. Under the goals, Nordback with 13. Elvis with 10. Uranus with 8. Pektas with 7. And then Selsin with 6. Serac with 5. And then 4, 3, 2, 1. So, as you'll see, midfield there in top 3. So, definitely the way the midfield's been playing is... um. Definitely a season to be proud of. The midfield has dominated at times. Um, Elvis there with 10 assists. Pektas in the deep line, play, deep line forward role has got 9. Selsen with 7. And then a couple with 5. Um, distance covered 362 kilometers for Eunice. And Elvis with 360. Key passes. 56 throughout the season for Nordback. Sirak with 51. Elvis with 42. Key tackles. Jenak with 21 key tackles. Passes completed. Nordback with 1,362 passes completed. But what you will see there, lads, is we have four players with over 1,000 completed passes throughout the season. That's fantastic. Really, really something to be proud of. And um, Tackles won 204, then 120, 93, and then it goes down. All the way down to one tackle completed by Carlin in two sub appearances. Interceptions, 315 for Genex and 311 for Wallstrom. Goals, mistakes leading the goals, Genex was three, a couple players with one. And most of the players never made a mistake which led to a goal. And as you'll see, not a single red card all season. Awesome. Um, most valuable player is Serak. Again, um, he's still topping that, so really happy with that. Um, and as I explained to you, we are in the Swedish Cup group stage. So absolutely delighted to have made it through to the group stage where we're coming up against the big boys, Malmö, Degfors and Lingskill. But now we are going to have a look at the reserve team. The under-21, sorry, slash reserve team. So as you'll see, we finished in third place. So respectable, I think. I'm not that far behind top, so I'm quite pleased. And the players have definitely shown that they have some future talent. A um, couple of players to look out for next season, more than likely going to be getting a chance, is Yasim. Um, quite a decent player there. He only got eight goals, five assists, but I think when you look at his stats, he definitely sh should be able to step up. And also uh, Danielson here, um, who is a centre-back. He doesn't have the greatest marking, but I do think he could possibly step up and do a good job in in the first team next season. I'm um, onto the under-19 side, as you will see there. They came in seventh, so they sit in mid-table. Um, top two did well, but as you'll see, we obviously we up against some really good teams. Jorgers and IF under-19s are, are top-flight side. So um, players who are going to step up. It, there's only really one. He's going to step up into the next level, um, up to the under-21s next season. I hope. Um, he's obviously he's only 16, just come through our youth system. Um, his heading needs to improve, but hopefully that can get improved throughout the time of him developing and hopefully he'll become a first-team regular. Who do you guys think has been the best performer this season? Would you say it's our keeper? Um, would you say it was Elvis? Would you say it was Nordback? 
um, let me know just to help you decide let you decide who's been doing the best we're just going to first go into the player section um, so we'll start down this side, average rate, we'll start with assists, um, Elvis there with 9, so he finished with the most assists in the league, clean sheets, our keeper finished with the most clean sheets in the league, dribbles per game, uh, Serac finished top and Elvis in second, um, goals, let's have a look, Nord Nordback came third in that, pass completion, our keeper came first, then Wilson 8th, then Serac 13th. Penalties. Nordback 5 out of 5 converted. So that's a fantastic record. Tackles per game. Uh, Will, uh, Willstrom came in 5th. Um, and that's it for that. But we're just going to go on to the team stats and see exactly how our team has done in everything. And do we deserve to go up? Do we have the fan base to go up? Average attendance. Okay, so we actually topped that with 290. Um, it's good that we topped it, but it's still a low number. But hopefully now, going up into the third tier, hopefully we can get more people through the gate. Um, average attendance by capacity, as you'll see, 3%. 3.73%. Where the, the, you've got a team up here on 44%. So, what was their average attendance? 222 so it's small stadium for themselves. Average possession, as you see, we topped that fifty five point five eight percent average possession throughout the season. So delighted with that. Um, conceded. So as you see, we conceded the least amount of goals in the whole league, and that's playing a standard four four two. So delighted with that. Um, conceded from corners. We conceded two goals from corners all season. Conceded one from direct free kick. And conceded none from an indirect free kick. Um, games lost in a row. Ah, that's that's was recent. Um, goals. Okay, we actually scored the most goals in the league as well. Um, I'm going through these just as you guys have seen it. So it's a, some of them have shocked me. Average attendance, um, percent, passing percentage, goals conceded, goals scored. I'm impressed that we're actually topping all the stats. We are showing that we actually deserve to go up. Goals from corners, so we got four throughout the season. And we got six from direct free kicks, and we actually topped that stats. Indirect free kicks, we got five, so we actually topped that also. Net transfer spend, we are at zero. A um, couple of clubs made some money there. Um, penalties, how many penalties? We had seven. We were joined top for that, so we got fouled, joined the most. Red cards, as you'll see, we're down to none. A couple of teams got three. Salary per annum, okay, so we were actually topping that, so even though we were expected mid-table, the fact that we were topping the salary per annum would say that we were expected to go up, in my opinion. Um, let me know if you agree with me. Um, stadium sellout, I've got a feeling I know the answer. That's right, none. And last but never least, yellow cards. We got four. Wow. Wow. I genuinely did not know this stat. This is one of the stats which I only checked the end of the season. We got four yellow cards all season. In 26 league appearances, guys, we only conceded four yellow cards. Wow, that's actually impressive. I'm really, really impressed with that. So we'll end up with the team report. Um, most used formation, 4-4-2, 64 goals. Most successful, 4-4-2. Most vulnerable to face, 4-2-2-2 DM. Time most goals were scored, 31 to 45 minutes, 23%. Most common assist was a pass. Most common assist area, left wing, that's understandable with Elvis out there. Time most goals conceded, 61 to 75 minutes. Most common assist pass, most common assist area, left wing. So maybe our right back needs to be improved for next season. Best attributes, pace, rank third. Worst actually was work rate ranked 14th, even though we had the best possession, etc. We still ranked low in work rate. Average age, 24. To work our way down the stats. So, goal attempts. Um, Nordback was best with that, with 27%. And um, work our way down some right, general player passes. Um, we attempted 9,930, sorry, we attempted 13,025, completed 9,938 with a pass completion over the season of 76%. Now, best was Jens Olsen with an average of 84. He attempted 173, completing 146. 
We attempted 973 tackles with 768 successful, 79%. Um, crossing, best not to even talk about it. Um, <laughs> it's, I'm really impressed with our discipline. Discipline is amazing. Really, really is amazing. Clean sheets, awesome. Um, I did actually, no, um, Berg actually wants to discuss contracts now. Um, but unfortunately, I have no money or finances available to even consider discussing that at the minute. So, I'm desperately trying to make sure I can secure these guys for next season. And um, definitely, hopefully, it's going to be something that I can do. But we're going to soon find out, aren't we? Because um, we're not that far from the next season. Um, but what I will say, lads, just to end the end of season one is... The viewing figures recently on this series have not been to the viewing amount of my other series. So I'm actually going to pause it here until more people find the series. Because I'm going to keep promoting season one. And hopefully people view it and want to see season two. Um, so if you do want to see season two, let me know in the comments below. And also share this video with your friends. And get people watching it because... When people are watching and showing interest in it, it obviously lets me know that people want me to continue it. So obviously we will be moving up a division next season as well. So obviously it will be something people are, will be excited to watch. So I'd like to thank people who have followed season one. And hopefully I will see you soon for season two. Goodbye.